Hi, I'm Elaine Burke and this is the Sony Xperia T. The Sony Xperia T, it's also called the Bond phone because it's the phone that Daniel Craig actually uses in the film Skyfall. Uh, this is the O2 edition of the phone, which is the only one that comes with this exclusive Bond content. So you can see the Bond background here. And you get this fancy Bond packaging when you buy it from O2. Um, but at the end of the day, it's still the Bond phone, no matter who you get it from. You just get some extra goodies. Um, if we go into the album app here, you can see we've got some videos. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see. And some images all from the film. Uh, the videos are video blogs from some of the cast and crew. Even Sam Mendes himself contributed. And if I check out some of the images, we could view them in this album view, or we can go back here and view them on a map to show the different locations that the, the film was shot in. Or we can even just view them on a globe. And even if, as a user, you're taking your own photos, if you enable geotagging, your photos will show in this view in the exact same way. And if we go to online view in the gallery, this is all the images from your various social media accounts that you can access all from your phone. So it's just an easy way of viewing all the photos that you, you have either online or on your phone. <laughs> This display is Sony's full HD experience, as they're calling it. Um, it's a 4.6 inch reality HD, and it's powered by the Sony Mobile Bravia engine. And it's 1280 by 720 resolution, and it really is crystal clear display. If I, I'm actually going to go back into some of these images here. You can just see the zoom is quick and fast as well, which I also like. But the detail that you can view on the screen is super clear. Uh, it's shatterproof and scratch resistant glass. It comes in this matte black casing and it's got a unique curved design that I, I mean it's just it's a bit strange, it's a bit elegant, and it's a bit cool so it's a bit like Bond. The Xperia T comes with a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera and a 13 megapixel rear facing camera which is the one of the highest spec cameras that you can get on a smartphone right now. And the clarity of images and the performance in low light is excellent. You'll see there aren't a lot of settings to adjust the camera. You've got a flash setting here and then you've got um, you could switch to panorama mode or the front facing camera or the normal shooting mode. But the scene recognition mode, despite the lack of adjustment settings, is really good at just judging what what settings you'll need for a particular picture. So you don't actually have to be fussing around too much with adjusting white balance or anything like that. Conversely though, if you go to the video app, there are a number of settings that you can adjust here. So you can choose a scene. So you can choose a scene, whether it be night, sports, beach, party, whatever. And you can also select your resolution, focus mode, exposure value, white balance, uh, turn the microphone on and off, geotagging. There's lots of, lots of more or options with the video than you get with the camera. But what I like most about the camera is that you don't need a lot of these options. It's just a really fast to use camera. There's also a number of options for sharing and transferring the images and photos that you capture on the device. So if I take the image that I just saw here, and I go to this menu here, you'll see there's an option that says throw. This is to use DLNA uh, enabled devices to throw an image or a, a video file from one device to another uh, over a wireless network. Um, Plenty of Sony devices are coming enabled with this capability and a lot of smart TVs will come with it as well. There's also a widget called Miracast which turns screen mirroring on or off and this basically means the screen from your phone will be mirrored on another device such as a laptop or a, um, or a smart TV. And there's also an NFC chip just located underneath the camera here on the 
the rear of the device and with any other NFC enabled phone you'll just tap to share. As it's a Sony device you also get the Sony Walkman app which I have to say I really like the interface of this. Um, this is the playing mode and then your My Music mode the menu comes up, lovely colour for pictures, it's just a nice interface, easy to use and um, it also comes with Facebook integration so I can actually see songs that my friends have shared on Facebook um, now if I try to play these songs a lot of them will have come through YouTube videos so it will jump to the YouTube app but I still like the fact that I can link into that while I'm listening to my own music that has been loaded to the phone. There's also uh, a sound equaliser so you can adjust the settings so whether you're listening through the built-in speaker or through your own headphones you can make sure that the settings are exactly how you want them for listening. And there you have it, that's the Sony Xperia T.